News. If you visited Sturgeon Bay today, you might have noticed a part of the city's downtown was closed off. Local 5's Aaron Taylor brings us behind the scenes to a movie shoot right here in Northeast Wisconsin. In a portion of downtown Sturgeon Bay, business as usual paused. Roads have been closed uh, and that, you know, if, if they don't have to frequent the Third Avenue businesses today, um, to just kind of stay away from the area. Keeping the streets clear as a film crew sets the scene. We're not exactly sure, you know, what exactly is going to be cut in the final scenes, but we hope that there's little bits and pieces of Sturgeon Bay here and there. One thing that is expected to make the final cut is Bill Murrock's red Camaro. In, in the world of, of muscle cars, the 69 Camaro is probably one of the best to have. The classic car club he belongs to connected him with producers months ago. I was contacted by a film crew. They were looking for a red sports car. I sent them pictures and sure enough it was exactly what they were looking for. He spent the past three days on set. It's kind of big time. They're saying actually that this film uh, we'll probably make movie theater. If it does make theaters, you're going to have to wait until then to see what the film's all about. Per production, we're kind of told to keep it kind of on the down low. Now, it's hard to miss the presence of the film crew here on 3rd Avenue, but what it is they're actually working on is being kept under tight wraps. I don't think they want the cat out of the bag quite yet. They want to kind of keep it hush hush until the whole thing is put together and then it's released. And when it is released, Murak will be more than ready to see his Camaro on the big screen. I'll probably be first in line to see it and it, it's quite an honor to be involved with something like this. First in line to see his car and his hometown. It puts Surgeon Bay on the map, it really does, and it's going to be a worldwide feature, so it's kind of neat to be a part of this. In Sturgeon Bay, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. Thanks, Aaron. Filming is expected to continue in downtown Sturgeon Bay for oh, about another hour up until 6 o'clock tonight.